Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. I'm going to do a quick and very easily repeatable experiment uh, using uh, light and shadows with this torch representing the sun and uh, casting shadows of, on the wall uh, from this bottle and box on the table so that we can compare what should happen to shadows if the sun is going down below the curve of a globe with the table edge representing the edge of the globe and then with the sun just getting farther and farther away as it does on the flat earth. Over here I have a marking on the wall which is at the same height as the bottle. So of course what should happen is if the sun is only above or at the same height as the bottle, the shadow of the bottle will go no higher than the bottle itself. So if that bottle was a building casting a shadow at sunset on a building next to it, if we are on a flat earth and the sun just gets farther and farther away, then we would see a shadow that never goes higher than the height of the actual object casting the shadow. However, if the sun is going down below a curve and therefore lower than the object itself, then of course the shadow goes higher than the object itself. So it's a very simple comparison that you can make with the sun just getting farther and farther away, not making the shadow go any higher than the object itself. But if the sun is going down any lower than the object, the shadow of the object will go much higher than the object itself. So you can make this observation absolutely anywhere, in a city, on the beach, in the countryside, a tree, a post, a stick in the ground, a building, a statue, whatever. If the shadow of the object never goes any higher than the object itself, then you know the sun is just getting farther and farther away. If you see the shadow go higher than the object itself, you know the sun is going down below the curvature of the earth. Simple, easy, repeatable science. Thank you very much.